As always, reinforce your seams, be yourself, and remember, in times like this, it's important to remember to laugh and enjoy yourself. My so-called life is sponsored by How's it going? I'm Godless Sewing and this is the Godless Sewing Channel. So today, I was going to be talking about a beautiful Singer sewing machine that I scored. That's from Brazil and I will. But on my way home in the beautiful Santa Cruz Valley, I discovered a store called Rooster's Relics. And one of the reasons I'm bringing it up is because places like the Goodwill and the Salvation Army literally rip off their employees. And if you're special needs, they pay you half of what quote unquote a normal person would get paid. So if you find a local thrift shop, make sure to support it because that's way better than giving your money to a heartless corporation like the Goodwill. So <laughs> with that being said, at Rooster's Relics in the beautiful Santa Cruz Valley, I found a sewing machine that's 102 to 103 years old. It was in um, workable condition. I got it together and as you can tell, I'm completely stoked and as usual I went to beautiful sunny Ventura California it was picturesque this morning and I am fortunate to live in a place where the Sun is still shining this time of year so as always this one's gonna be an adventure strap on wear a helmet and let's go sewing but before we go sewing let's see how we got there So if I haven't said Rooster's Relics already, if you're ever in the Santa Cruz Valley, check out Rooster's Relics because I scored this beautiful standard sewing machine. You know, when I started researching it, something very, very interesting happened because underneath it says Singer. So when I got it home, and, I, and I, um, I pulled it out and it said standard. I was like, hmm, but guess who created the standard sewing company? Isaac Mer Merritt Singer. Every time Isaac Singer got mad at somebody in the board of directors, he'd go create a new company, make a bunch of money and wag his finger at people. So this machine is from 1919 from Cleveland, Ohio, and it is absolutely trashed. But the one beautiful thing is I was able to oil it and it turned over. So I'm going to get it going. But the one thing I learned from the previous white rotary is that you don't plug in things that are a hundred and something years old. Also, as, as I'll show you, there's a lot of parts that have been added onto this over the years because all of these machines were made interchangeable. So it makes sense that the motor is from probably the fifties or sixties and the pedal over there is definitely from the seventies and it's not even from the same machine, not even the same brand. It's still awesome. 
and it's definitely going to look good in the collection. But my whole point is, all in all, this sewing machine is beautiful. It's going to be a great restoration project, and the cabinet is all original every single piece and you know when when people built things back in the day they really thought it out because there's wires that go in here that keep the cabinets from falling out so this is beyond well made i am absolutely stoked and as far as sewing machines go this is an utter and complete home run so once again i completely scored but I've got some serious rearranging to do in this room. So I found another beautiful Singer sewing machine made in Brazil. This one has that total 1980s Romulan warship body style, and I'm all about it. I said I wasn't gonna buy another one, but sometimes I say a lot of things. And the one thing that I knew the second I turned it over is that it was trashed. So I drove straight to the shop, busted out the big tools, and I got it to turn over. All right, so this is my Brazilian Singer sewing machine. Singer outsourced everything. And so depending on what style and what year you bought your sewing machine, it can, it can come from anywhere around the world. I actually like these Brazilian sewing machines because they're built tough and once you get them going, they work forever. So the one thing about this machine is that it was completely seized, but I knew enough to take the top facing off and just oil it. If we, even without the berry white, I used some industrial um, oil and it got it going. So after the journey, after going and getting it, bringing it all the way to the shop, I'm gonna take it home and see what happens. All right, so here it is. This is my Singer 5817C sewing machine. Like I said earlier, this was made in Brazil and it was actually well built, but there's one thing I want to warn people that if you see one of these sewing machines in the store, you should definitely turn it over and look to see where it was made. Because these are some of the most broken down machines I have ever come across in my life. And there's a reason why I own quite a few of them. They're easy to repair, but sometimes it could be from a missing bobbin piece to the entire machine is just utterly and completely miscalibrated. So if it's made in Brazil, I would say buy it. If it's not and it has this body shape, it's in the thrift store for a reason. So besides all the hype and going to Ventura and having a great time this morning, like I always say, instead of talking about it, let's check it out. All right. So if it works, I'm going to chuck a ton of stickers on it, add it to the fleet. And if not, it'll just go in the shipyard and get fixed anyways. All right. And make sure I don't run over my cord. So I did little prep for this. So this might be a complete disaster or this is just a well-built machine. <laughs> oh, let me go get my scissors. Do you know one day I will remember to bring those. And I'll forget him again next time. So for a semi-oiled machine, I took it to the shop. I gave it some love. I took it back home. Perfect stitch. This is the back. You could probably see that better. So from a machine from the 1980s brought back to life another victory here in the house of sewing. So this giant mess here actually has a purpose. I'm going to switch the motor out for my fief, fief, fife, 
Fife sewing machine. One, I, once I got the European adapter, it dawned on me that the motor wasn't working. So regardless of the power distribution problems, the motor was the problem. So I'm gonna swatch, swap it out for a good old Sears Kenmore, which actually has really dependable sewing parts. So if you're in a pinch, you can definitely Frankenstein from a um, old school Sears Kenmore sewing machine. And as always, I want to thank you if you've made it this far. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all those cliches that people are supposed to say. Please take care of yourself and I will definitely, definitely see you next time. You